everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Everyday Whiskey. I'm Dan. And I'm Mike. And this week we are doing a big Redwood Empire vertical. We are taking the core lineup and comparing them to the core lineup cask strengths, which just dropped this year. So this is going to be a less informative video and more so how one how they stack against each other and which one we like better. Do and we like the cask or the OG? Obvious number rating will be correlated with which one we like better, like worse, you know, yada, yada. These three cash strength editions are probably three of the most sought after whiskeys on the market right now. Yeah. So basically, just to make this very simple, the core bourbons, all the core bourbons or bourbon whiskey and rye mm -hmm. go for $44.99 on the shelf. The cash strength editions, all three have three different proofs, go for $75.99. Yep. So that's New Jersey pricing. If you live in another state, then let's put that seventy five ninety nine in quotes. quotes. They should go for that price. Yep, there you go. Depending on allocations and what the stores themselves want to do. All right, let's fucking do this. Yep. We're going to take off most of the bottles just so you can see our pretty faces. Exactly. During this. So we're starting with the OG, probably the most, probably the bottle that if you're not familiar with Redwood Empire exclusively, you would probably have heard of pipe dream bourbon mm. so all right these are all going to be fresh cracks aside from the emerald giant yeah emerald giant's the only one that it's kind of fresh you know there was like one pour out of it and i don't even know i don't even think it was by me i don't know who the hell poured it i don't know if you could tell on my face i am so excited right yeah now. this is gonna be this is gonna be a fun vertical and this was not cheap either no. <laughs> well well no. no, 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 no. <laughs> it's not cheap to get all of these bottles in one spot no. so but this is one of the very few brands where we can actually do a full vertical yeah. and that we have one of each. So that makes it more exciting. If you see my phone out, I actually am updating our whiskey scoring board for the year as we go. Yeah. So let's get right into this. We're doing Pipe Dream Base Bourbon. Yep. Let's go. Cheers. This is going to be quick. We're going to try and go through this because we're doing six bourbons this week. Yeah. And we know six whiskeys. Fuck. We know people's attention spans are at that 12 to 15 minute yeah. mark. So I love the nose. Nose is great. Mm -hmm. Really sweet. Oh, wow. Wow. It's rich. Very wow. rich. I'm getting a lot of toasted fig. oak on that. I, I get a little bit of that toasted oak, but I also get like fig. Yeah. A lot of dark fruit. Dark fruit, Classic fig. bourbon notes for the most part. Yeah. Oak, vanilla, dark fruit. This is actually really well-rounded. Super solid. A bit of a late kick. A little bit. For sure. But I really like it. And if you guys aren't familiar with the whole Redwood Empire brand, wow. it's all based off John Muir, who is, I believe he's the father of the National Forest. Uh, Muir Woods. Muir Woods, yeah. So they are really environmentally inclined. They're really involved yeah. in, like, you know, quote unquote, saving the environment. You can insert your opinion on that or not. Definitely, global warming is a yeah. thing. It's definitely And it's a, thing. a good thing what they do. Every <laughs> All their sales, portions of the sales, go towards replanting redwoods and upkeeping the national forests. They even have, like, little coaster things that they yeah. give out that you can plant and grow trees. Um, and then every single bottle is actually named after a specific redwood tree. Emerald Giant, Lost Monarch, Pipe Dream. And I believe um, only... I think all... I think two out of the three of those are still standing. One of them is yeah. not there anymore. But... Either way, let's get right. right into the cash strength. Well, what do we got to rate? We got to oh, rate yeah, this yeah. We got to rate this stuff. I'm getting ahead um, of myself. I I really like it. I'm actually going to go like an 8-2. Yeah, it's good with me. Yeah? You're yeah. good with that? So awesome. 8 on the Pipe Dream Bourbon. Let me update that in the scoring board. I'm trying to go really light on these boards. That's what I'm saying. That way we you know, can get through this. Oh. All right. The nose is a little lighter to me. I get obviously it's higher proof, so this is one hundred sixteen point eight proof. Yeah. I'm not splitting it to do the math. Um, more ethanol nose. More ethanol, but they still kind of has like that slight little fruit tone to yeah. it. Yeah, but is it doesn't. It, it's the not nose is almost toasty, dude. It is. It's not overbearing at all. All right, I like that. By the way, you don't have to do the math. It's right here for you. Oh, well, it's right there. Fifty eight point four. <laughs> wow, that's good. That's really good. It just, everything I liked about this is just like... Amplified. Yeah, and it actually, I shit you not, it kicks less than the bass. So I was just going to comment on that. I think the kick is there, but it's more well... Dispersed? Dispersed yeah. throughout the entire, you know, between the nose, the, the initial taste, the finish. Yeah. Like, it's just very... 
It's much more balanced. All right, so we're 8-2 on that. This is really good. I like it. It's not a 9. No, no. way. Uh, I'm saying it's an 8-5. A very well-rounded 8-5. It's funny you say that, because I agree again. All right, so we're at 8.5 And I 10. swear we're not doing this to save on time. This is the first time we've both had two back-to-back -back matching and scores. And we actually agreed on something? Yeah. yeah. Three, so. two, one. Press nice. cracks. I just bought this Lost Monarch today. Yeah, this is really a fresh bottle. So this is this is the blend of straight whiskeys. This yes, this one. The other one was straight bourbon. This is a blended whiskey. Which oh my god, smells good. Well, so it has just a to, bit of cinnamon on it. It does. It's got a lot of spice on the nose. So this is it's a blend of straight rye whiskeys and straight bourbon, aged mm. at least three years. The pipe dreams at least four years age. This is a little bit younger. But you're getting two different types of whiskeys blended And together. they're balancing it that way. So Yeah. I right. like the nose. I like the nose. A little bit of cinnamon. A little more spicy. Do you get a little banana? Now that you're telling me it, yeah. I'm <laughs> kind of getting it. But not a lot, but a little bit. The yeah. house is haunted. Ooh. That's, I actually, that's more corn forward. More corn forward, but it's a good corn sweetness. Yeah, good corn sweetness. A little caramel. And then you get the rye spice at the back end of the palate. Which I like. I like how it That's good. So this is cool because it's a blend of whiskey and rye. Straight whiskey and rye. Or straight bourbon and rye. And I feel like you can pinpoint yeah, both it, bourbon and rye yeah, I know. in it. You get a little bit of that um, kind of dill note. I really like Late this. palate. Okay, I'm <clears throat> continuing on with the 8.5. I really like this one, too. I think that's an 8.5. I really agree with that, too, actually. Three for three. This yeah. is a record. I'm excited for this cast strength now. So, according to what I've read online, this is the favorite out of the is three. It? The yeah, this this is the favorite out of the three from what I've heard. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. It's like a little... Of course, a little flexible. Oh. So, the nose is, again... A little more ethanol forward. Yeah, it's not... I actually like the nose better I do. in the base. I'm getting more caramel notes on this nose. No cinnamon. I'm getting... I'm not getting cinnamon, but I'm still getting a rye forward nose. A spicier yeah, I, nose. I agree. It's not the cinnamon. I would say there's a baking, spice, uh, baking yeah, spice like, nature to it. Okay, let's go for it. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's nice. It's like candy. It's like bourbon candy. It's like bourbon candy, but it's there's oats too. It's, it's like uh, it's like dried oats. Definitely, wow. obviously, this is a hundred. This is the highest proof one out of the three. It's one hundred seventeen point two and or fifty eight point six percent. Once alcohol. again, that hot that it, it's spread out. It's very yeah. very well balanced for being a lot higher proof. Yeah, it's awesome. I really like this one. I actually oh, don't God. think I'm. I don't think it's. Uh, it's not better and it's not worse than the base. No. I think they're both 8.5s. Uh, I'm pretty... Yeah, I think they're... I, I agree. I mean, it's weird, I, but I yeah. agree. I think if you like higher proof stuff, go to the, obviously, the cash yep. thing. But if you want something that's a little more cocktail friendly, so it's a little more dumbed down, or not dumbed down, but a little more... Uh, palatable. Palatable. Yep. Go with this. Because they, they both, to me, hit both of my sweet spots. Um, so this one, I, like I think, those. is the Dark Horse. I think this is going to be just... This is going to be interesting. From not having any experience with most of the whiskeys on the table today, this is where my brain would be like, I think this might be a shining star. All right, let's get right into this. We got the Emerald Giant Rye going here. Yeah, I'm pumped for... This one's going to be cool, too. Yeah. This is... I think this is going to be the most interesting one out of the lot. <clears throat> All right, little tastes. Little tastes. Ooh. Okay. So this has to be MGP because it, dude, it's tarragon it, and dill. Like, yeah, it's a dill weed. If you want to go with like specifics, I don't know though. Dude, it literally or it it, it smells like tarragon. That's got to be MGP. It's bottled in Sino Okay, so it's bottled in California, which means yes, it's 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 it's, it's I, sourced. I'm not gonna bet my life on it, but I'm ninety five percent sure this is from Indiana. It's sourced and it is also at least four years old, just like the yeah. pipe dream. Now, when we say source and MGP and stuff like that, people who have religiously watched us understand we do not mind that at all. No, no, no. I, I just, love sourced products. Mike and I just like knowing where something comes from for a frame of reference. Yeah. So why something tastes like that. Like, 
Indiana Rye, or aka MGP, has a distinct taste. It's yeah. tarragon and dill. And, and black licorice. And we always want to give you the most accurate info that we can. We don't want to say something's made in-house if it's really not. It, it's, it's a good nose. It's a straight-up MGP Rye, rye nose. Yeah. It's, that's what it is. See, Ooh. it's herbal at first. Very herbal. A little bit of heat. Your cat, I think, is eating possibly one of the plastic. Yeah, wrappings. he'll be fine. He'll be good. I don't think he'll be fine. Um, but it's dull. It's dull. It's not really. Like, I don't it's mean that in a flat. bad way. I think it's just flat yeah, compared just, to the other two. It just kind of comes and goes. It finishes real clean, real easy. Um, mm. But I still really like it. Uh, 7.2. Oh, wow. I was going to go 8. Do All some right. math. 7.5. All right. Or right, 7.6. Seven, 7.6. Six. Seven, six? Let's call it 7.6. Seven, six. Seven point six. I it just it's not doing anything for me. It's not bad at all. No. Now remember, when it, seven and up, we consider good. Buy it. You know that's yeah. buy it. It's still good. Um, it's not until you get down into the sixes and the fives where we're like, yeah, <laughs> could have done better. Yeah. But you know, it just it's a little flat. It, it doesn't have as much flavor as the bourbon or the Lost Monarch, and obviously they're different types of whiskey. But you could always have, yeah, similar amounts of flavor in their perspective. Like profiles, mm -hmm. and we're back. Sorry, I had to stop my cat from dying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, we were talking about how like this. <laughs> I like it's still a good rating, still worth buying, but it's just like it's, it's the least it impressive out of the three. Yeah, and yeah. it's the most stereotypical. Now, this could very well be. We're not. Again, we just said a couple minutes ago. We're not super into rice. It's not our first choice of whiskey so yeah but still i think i have a soft spot for a lot of rise and there's a lot of ones i yeah. really enjoy but oh i know we were, we were also saying how we're at the tipping point right now like yeah. this can go one of two ways mm -hmm. um and honestly i don't really know what to expect i can't say it's gonna go one way or the and other I, I really love like higher know. proof rise like we i just got the jack daniel single barrel barrel proof rye, and that's awesome oh i gotta try that one yeah it's we'll, we'll try that off camera um, um so, I'm definitely, my palate's been, like, building up for this one. So, let's let's get right into this. Okay, well, right off the bat, on the oh, nose. Oh, the nose is a hundred times better. Apple. It's, a, yeah. I it's, get green apple. I get green apple, and I get, Ow, like, that burnt. all spice. <laughs> yeah. It's like an apple spice. It reminds me of that Actually, air it's maybe a little tea note, too. Oh, that's really nice. It's a really it's good much, nose. It's, it's a much fruitier nose. It's not a... Yeah, that's a like crisp green and apple again, I'm not, tea. I'm not trying to sound like negative, but this is a garden variety rye. There's yeah. nothing special, but there's also nothing bad about it. No, not at all. It's, it's just a good rye. It, 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 like when you try the other two, this just kind of doesn't meet the same level. Yeah, this is this nose is my favorite nose out of the three. If you come to one of us or me asking, "Hey, I need a good rye. I want to try rye." This is going to be in my lineup right next to the Willet Rye. I mean, the Willet Rye I would definitely advocate for if you could get it at yeah. a good price. And that's also higher proof, too, but so it's the a, flavor's a little more yeah. amped up. So I'm hoping that because the Willet Rye is a higher proof and this is a higher proof, it's kind of going to follow yeah. that trend. But yeah, this is like uh, Granny Smith Apple. Dude, I'm telling you, Green Apple, right out of which Granny Smith. Or Green Apple, yeah. Uh, it's just good. And then there's that slight little tinge of dill, like a little bit. Yeah. But it's not. It's no. It's a totally different nose. I'm excited for this. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Wow. It's just like, again, it takes this and turns it up to eleven. That herbal wow. black tea note is like it slams you in the face. It literally tastes like uh, pure leaf, like the organic, the the yeah, height, the night, like the in the, like the pure leaf in the. Glass bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the tea house ones, the black tea they make. The real good ones. It tastes like like really good cold brew is, black tea. Oh, this is good. <laughs> this is really this nice. This is really good. This is not at all. So this is why I like doing verticals because yeah. this is not at all like this. Totally different, and the texture is different. Yeah, it's got way better mouthfeel. The uh, the actual palate doesn't fall off as no. fast. Do you want me to go first or you first for the score? Oh, uh, you go first. I'm going up to like an eight eight on this on this one. I'm really really. I was at eight nine. 
Uh, so I'll, I'll go meet eight, you at eight nine. All right, so we'll do. I'll it. go higher. I'll go to eight nine. Eight point nine out of ten yeah. on the Emerald Giant Cash Strength Rye, which makes it the winner of this entire yeah. Redwood Empire vertical vertical thingy. Yeah, which like I said, I, that's why I called it the Dark Horse. That's why I kind of knew it was going to go one of two. It was going to go one of two ways. It was either going to be the best or it was going to be the worst. Mm-hmm. So that's awesome. Let's plug it right in. Wow. So that's that. Now you know what we think of everything and how it's they really stack good. up one another against one another. All right. So all right. We're Mr. not gonna Duckhorn, you outdid yourself. Yeah, Jeff Fantastic. Duckhorn again, buddy. It was a you know pleasure meeting you. The one time I got to meet you, you're really really fun, down to earth guy. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, we're not gonna go off on any more tangents. But nope. please do all three of the next things on the list. Please like the video. Please subscribe to our channel and please comment on the video if you have any input or any thing you want to say about it. Uh, and go out there and buy yourself some Redwood Empire. You will not be disappointed in any of these products. No. So thank you for watching. Everybody drink responsibly. Cheers. Yeah.